Okie dokie. Uh, escape from the Citadel. The... Yes. Escape the Citadel. The Citadel. Yes. Come on, let's move this Escape the Citadel. Yeah, there you go. God. Um, okay, yeah, lot to talk through here. Uh, <laughs> so, so, so they go to the, they go to the Citadel, uh, they find his daddy! Um, and... But the Lich starts to break three, free because it's just so evil and he has evil stuff that turns all the other bad guys into his bad guys. And they break uh, Finn's father out, whose name is Martin, and he's just a total dead beat bum Dan, pretty much. <laughs> um, and has no interest in his son, is only, you know, he's kind of like playful and friendly, but just clearly has no responsibilities or dedications of anything. And, uh, there's this stuff that puts his leg back together because it gets sort of fried off. Uh, so they use that to defeat the Lich, and that turns him into a great big baby, which I couldn't have seen that coming. But when Martin's trying to get away with all the other villains, uh, Finn tries to latch on, and he gets so involved in getting his dad back and getting some answers that his, uh, arm, the grass part starts to grow like thorns and it starts to grow bigger and bigger and grows so big and the force is so strong his arm is literally ripped off and he falls off and a little bit of that gunk that uh makes your skin whole the again guardian's blood yeah like the guardian's blood uh whatever it was gets on his arm and he grows a little flower cute and uh <laughs> <laughs> sorry what was that it's cute <laughs> And, uh, he's really sad, and even Shelby comes out to, to shed a few tears, and it, it was actually really tough. I love how even a worm is more affected by everything than his dad is in yeah. this. I mean, that was kind of like the big ouch <laughs> moment. Um, and in probably the biggest laugh we see, <laughs> the first time we see Mr. Pig and, uh, Tree Trunks, after they got married, she's about to suggest they get a divorce. <laughs> but then there's a baby the the Lich left at their doorstop, and he's like, oh, this changes everything, which is very ironic, considering the whole story about how, you know, Finn was left behind. <laughs> it's just like, I, I didn't quite know how to take all that, really. <laughs> but, um... I liked it. It had a lot of fun, adventurous stuff. Uh, the the deadbeat dad. I mean, it was kind of obvious he was going to be a criminal yeah. there, you know, and not a guard. Um, I had a feeling it might go that direction. It's and yet it was still so painful to watch. Uh, that, that stuff is just hard. Um, and it reminded me a little bit. You guys ever see Cowboy Bebop? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember Ed's dad? Oh yeah. Yeah. It reminded me a lot of that. Um, yeah. Where I think with him, with him though, it was just a sense like his marbles weren't all there. I mean, yeah. he was just constantly distracted. It was like, you know, super, 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 super ADD, you know, something like that. Where like, he seemed like, you know, he liked his kid, you know, hey, come on, you want to be with the old man now? You want to go? And then just, up oh, work! And he just takes off. Like, he's not actively trying to get rid of her, he just doesn't yeah. think. Here, he is actively, like, trying to push the sun away. And it's just like... Hurry, cut faster. He is really fast there. Yeah, you know, yeah, I could go a little quicker. And just in such a... The only way I can describe it is such a deadbeat way, because he tries to do it all friendly. Yeah, could you go a little quicker there? Could you go a little... It's yeah. just like... It, that stuff is even more painful than if he was like, you know, I don't want you, or something like yeah. that. It's that kind of friendliness that I, I don't know maybe it's more like realistic because we've seen a few versions when even of that the in little, shows the little parts where he calls him flynn instead yeah of and he gets the name and wrong like, and stuff oh my god um it might be a little bit of um they play this is like probably the most rerun thing ever the the fresh prince where uh his dad comes back oh, oh yeah say, yeah i mean it's just like you know Honestly, rightfully so, they play it over and over because it's yeah. remarkable. It's yeah. like an incredible episode. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just kind of that same thing where it's sort of like, well, if I if I act nice, you know, or just sort of say nice-ish things, it's like, eh, I'm not such a bad guy. I'm okay and stuff. And clearly this guy had the same mindset, and he's just so... It, it just... He's dislikable enough to still enjoy a little bit. Like, I still laugh a little bit when he's like, you know, yeah, okay, you know, boy, does this guy ever give up? Jeez, I mean, I'm just like, how can this guy just be so soulless? Yeah. Um, but, 
I almost thought the joke was going to be it actually wasn't his father. I thought that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> they come all this way, just like, uh, yeah, well, go do that, son. Go do that. Turns out it wasn't the father. Um, but the fact that it is makes it even more painful. Uh, so, yeah, I thought it still had the it still had the laughs. It had a lot of creativity with uh, the different creatures and uh, a lot of energy to it as well. And even with what a Debbie he was, it still had some good chuckles with it and uh, my guess is with the flower growing out of the arm i i was guessing because he had the grass uh blade part of his arm that maybe that's like it mixed together or something that's where the flower came from that's my best guess um i'm curious to see what they do with that now it's like just finn has a flower for an arm i'm intrigued uh, at this point in time i mean your guess is as good as mine mm. there's not many episodes after this point in time so Unlike before, I'm like, ha, 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 I know all what's happening. I, you know, now I'm kind of like, yeah, your guess is honestly <laughs> yeah. really as good as mine, you know? Right. So it's kind of neat for me, like, now, like, I'm in that whole exciting, like, ooh, yeah, what's like, going to happen gonna next? Happen. Yeah. You know? So, how about you, Jory? Yeah, I, I loved it. Um, I absolutely loved it, and it was so, so hor horrific. It was so sad to see Finn, I mean, just, I don't know, the desperation, I guess, is more than anything. It was just so, so desperate, even knowing, even seeing. It's like, right there, you almost want to scream at him, don't you see? He's a horrible person. He's a piece of crap. Well, Jake actually yells that at him, pretty much. I felt like I wanted to just scream at him, but, I mean, it just, there's nothing you can do, and I feel like that's, it's painful, and it's, it's, it's so very real. It's painful because it's so very real. There are so many people out there that have awful parents, whether they're neglectful or they're abusive or... For whatever reason, you know, in, in your own way, you're constantly trying to get that approval. You're constantly trying to get them to acknowledge you. And you know they're horrible people, but they're still your parents. And you just still want that, you know. There's this ideal of a parent. And you want it. And it just, it felt a little, a lot real. I thought it was nicely done. Shelby coming out was probably the saddest thing I've ever seen. Like he has crawled up like a little puppy. You I, know, like, it really you know. was and you know and it was like it wasn't even and as I was watching that like in my head too I was like oh my god I mean yes the arm but it's not the arm like I just felt like Shelby wasn't crying so much for the arm as he was for Finn's loss of his father all over again that was you know so traumatic like you know yes the arm it's horrible but just how he lost it why he lost it was even worse than the fact that he lost it um this is a lot to handle you know something i realize i, I just thought right now too is that you know they're all telling him you know finn come on don't you know he's a loser and stuff uh and literally you have him holding on and he's not letting go you know and when he doesn't let go a part of him is taken away mm -hmm. you know and uh yeah that's uh, you know and again a, a flower starts to grow there it's like you know something is taken away but something starts to grow again mm -hmm. yeah. you know hopefully it'll get bigger and stronger and will it be the same no but it'll it's still the growth of something else yeah you know, to replace it so yeah it's it's that, that was very clever some lines like to show like to me it you're right in the sense of if you just sat there and was like go away from me you're a scumbag i don't like it, him talking to finn you know martin talking to finn he's just like go away i don't want you whatever like okay that's one thing you'd be like oh you're an asshole but like just the way yeah he says things when finn puts the gook on his leg and it grows back and he looks he's like oh you can't even fix the boot yeah. Something as minor as that. It wasn't even a thank you. It was just he was looking. He's like, oh, you couldn't do more. Mm. Yeah. You know, expecting even more from him. Or um, ah, oh, crap. What was the other one that I was just he's, thinking about? He says it with a smile on his face. Oh yeah. It's, it's also. It's like, very manipulative. Yeah. Yes. 
Yes, absolutely, yes. He's a con artist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's more or yeah. less what it comes down to. Um, oh, the other one was, you know, where Finn's like, he blurts out really, really fast, why'd you leave me in the forest? You know, and he's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe you left me! Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it, it was mm -hmm. like, he didn't even say it in a joking tone. Yeah. You know, he was like, well, maybe you left me, you know. It's like, wow, you know, you couldn't even... You're actually trying to make that as an honest excuse. Yeah. Like, instead of trying to pull it off as a joke or something, he was saying it, like, so seriously, like, he... Maybe you'll buy this. Yeah, everything is the opportunity. It's not, what, yeah. what can I do for anyone else? It's always, what can you do for me? Yeah. yeah. What can I do for me? And I'm sure it's, like, whatever the circumstance of having a kid, it's like, well, this doesn't benefit me much. Of course yeah. I don't want that. Yeah. You know. Oh, well, what's a baby gonna do for me? <laughs> yeah. Um, the only problem I did have with this was what they did with the lich. <laughs> Turning him into a baby. Oh, well, God. from what I gathered beforehand, the lich is basically all evil. All that stuff, yada, yada, yada. The lich came about from the bomb going off. You know? And now they've given the lich, like, a pre-lich form. I always took it as the lich was created because of the bomb itself. Like, he was part of the bomb. He wasn't some hmm. baby skeleton that reacted with, you know, the, uh, oh my god, the bomb, and turned into the lich. Huh. He was just kind of like this, almost like an essence, if you will, that existed. And when the bomb went off, it gave that essence life. Well, but couldn't you, if you throw that gunk on him, and he, you know, couldn't that just be what the gunk transforms him into? I mean, honestly, it's, it looked more to me like the skin was sort of like, not taking away, but kind of covering the powers, like kind of muting them, yeah. and it's like still kind of trapped inside, because he's still the same size, too. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, actually, he's even, he's bigger. Like, yeah, he's like yeah. really, really big. But when you, when you put it on Martin, when Finn put it on Martin, it grew back his like normally. So I took it as the blood brings things back to how they were. A healing agent, if you will. Like, yeah, but Finn didn't have uh, a flower But there, only, a only a tiny amount landed there. It wasn't coated. Mm. Mm. So, well. I mean, and I just felt, again, I don't know. I felt they didn't know what to do with the Lich. They didn't know how to finally finish off the Lich for good. The Lich is such a great villain. He is like a, a top-notch villain that, yeah, you just, there's nothing you can do. But that's also writing yourself into a corner. And by sitting there and going, oh, we're going to take the ultimate evil and turning it into a baby, I'm just kind of like, really? If that's it, really the route you want to go? I, I'm really torn out, because you're right. Because yeah. he is so uh, threatening, and, you know, and all the stuff he's done... Sort of the idea of, yeah, just turning him into a baby and, and sort of that dumbbell ending, which I thought was really funny, but you're, but you're right, it's still... What happened last episode? Yeah, like he, he looked, kills the old man and everything. He looked up and you said yourself, you were like, oh shit. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's, was, it's cheapening. I know they did it for a laugh or whatever. Maybe they have something coming in the future, I don't know. But it felt like... What can we do? What can we do? Oh, we'll turn him into a baby! That would be hilarious! Because mm -hmm. we need more effing babies, and now we're going to see more tree trunks. Yippee. Yeah, I mean, th this, is, this is a character that has killed off, you know, some major characters. And yeah, yeah. sort of the idea that he would end on a joke. You're right, it doesn't feel right. And maybe they would bring him back in some sort of other way, I don't know. But yeah, something does seem a little off about that, even though I think it is funny. Yeah. No, I, I found it funny, but then again, I thought about it, and I'm like, no, nah, you know, come on, really? This is what you're... You, it just seems like a wussy way to, to end it. But then again, if you were raised by tree trunks, you'd probably turn out to be the ultimate evil anyway, <laughs> so we'll see if it happens again. <laughs> you know, actually, in fact, that even brings up a good point. You're talking about we're going to have to see more tree trunks with the baby now, whatever, and I was thinking to myself, you know, watching that, all I would think is, Oh my god, is the lich gonna go back to how he... Oh my god, would he kill tree trunks? Oh my god. And it's like, yeah. th these don't mesh. It should be more the comedic possibilities of the lich with tree trunks would be funny. But it's like, no, I'd be like really concerned for tree trunks. And it's like, that's <laughs> oh not... God. Something's not meshing there. You're right. It's kind of these two things. They're usually very good at balancing out, but those two don't quite go together. I think they were just going for the joke. I yeah. think that's, that's... Like I said, I don't think they figured out exactly what to do with them. 
And, and they didn't have to get rid of him or anything. I mean, they could just, whatever, frozen him again or put him somewhere else. I mean, hell, like, the guy creates the, the portals and all that stuff. Or whatever. Put the, put, the gun gun him him no, put the gun gun, turn him into a normal human or something. And now he has to figure out how to get his powers back. You know, something like you Why said. Why did he regress? Why yeah. did he turn into a baby when he was a full-grown man? Hmm. You know, it, it's, it, it's healing agent. Yeah, I get that. And I get that Finn or Jake pretty much said he's born again, mm. but mm. it just seemed very counteractive considering healing the leg and all that stuff. Or maybe the blood just does what it's supposed to do. Yeah. It I, affects everyone differently, which I that, guess. That's sort of what I was maybe thinking, but yeah, I, I wasn't sure. Um, Sorry, what? You no, know, I, I mean, I guess I just took the blood to do whatever it felt was necessary at the moment, um, you know, again with Finn's arm, or lack of arm with the flower growing, I know you said it's just a small drop, but I just, I just wondered about it. Plus also my first thought, actually, when the lich was starting to grow skin and, and bone and, er, bone, tendons mm -hmm. and muscle and stuff, my first thought actually was, oh my god, life is killing him. Like oh, that would have been interesting, actually. Because he was getting covered in life. Yeah. Like, he was dead. Could... He's nothing, essentially. He's a skeleton, this very symbol of death and nothingness. And he brings death. And so to be covered in flesh and, and, and muscle and, and all this living stuff and being covered in living stuff I thought that was my first thought was life was killing death well you could argue it's still um, kind of it how, what is yeah. the best way for life to kill death birth. give life birth yeah yeah, yeah. That just, so. does kind of make sense when I think about it <laughs> that was my damn it Jory <laughs> I, I still don't like it and I don't think that's we might be reading too deep into it. And I think so. we are, and I'm I think sorry. people are probably going to be like, no, that's totally what they were going for. <laughs> I, uh, I felt it was to, uh, to quote the modern teens, I felt it was a punk-ass way of taking out a great villain. <laughs> I felt it was lame, I felt it was cheap, I felt they had no idea what to do with the Lich. And for a, a villain, like a great villain, it felt, you're right, he went out on a cheap joke. To me it was just, yeah. And, Jory, your explanation is pretty neat, and it's actually an interesting way of looking at it, but yeah. I don't think that's what they were looking at, and <laughs> I don't buy it. Well. Honestly, I mostly agree with you, but her her theory <laughs> is so interesting. Um, I, I'm leaning towards that's probably what it is. I, I'll bullshit my way into saying, okay, that's... And, and, and I'll say, okay, I, I'll buy that. <laughs> I choose to believe in me. Yeah, no, honestly, because it's, it's not a bad theory, really. I'm kind of like, eh, Okay, like that would very much legitimately explain why he would be a baby, and it wouldn't—it wouldn't just leave it on a dumb joke. It would be like this actually does kind of make sense. Um, but 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 leave, <laughs> leaving him leaving him in the hands of Mr. Pig and uh, tree trunks. Like I said, that that's still even though it's Nature funny. Nature versus nurture. <laughs> yeah, that's still. <laughs> I'm still fearful for tree trunks and Mr. Pig. I'm just I saying. Don't know what you don't know. Oh. So, but yeah, yeah, that, life is killing again. death. Never gonna live that down. I think you're just like Lich. making that that sound. And we lost Ron Perlman now. Yeah. Well, you know, he might come back. We don't know. Maybe the evil is so strong it'll come back or something. Yeah, with tree trunks. Yippee. I don't want to see tree trunks excited. die. Look at it that way. You can see tree trunks die. No, tree trunks is not going to die. And that's the problem. <laughs> we, we get the terrible tree trunks living with the terrible lich baby. Yeah, no. Nah. Jeez. I forgot to mention, by the way, because this actually did remind me, somebody made me a little tree trunks uh, figurine yeah. with a nostalgia critic hat and a tie, and I... No, I did bring it up. You yeah, did, did in the But I'll bring it up again because it's worth it. Well, what about the creepy guy who brought gave you the tree trunk stuffed animal that was like... Oh, yeah, he brought me that, too, but he, he just bought that. Thank you, still. <laughs> but this person made this, okay? Oh, this was like a sculpture, and I'm, I'm, cool. I'm thankful for both. 
But the, the, the sculpture's just gonna win. Sorry, guy. <laughs> oh, that, I forgot. Uh, some lady who came from France and all that stuff apparently said it's because of me that she started drinking dew. So, here's the dew, and I will be drinking- Oh, don't you steal my thunder! <laughs> I am! You're welcome, France. Look at his face, that's his great. He's like, I don't know how to drink properly. Just not as fast as you. You've had years of training to drink dew. Here's to you, my friend. Yes. Thank you. No. The little Alicia baby. <laughs> Tell me more about your thoughts of the Big Bang Theory and so on and so forth. Where life came from. Fascinating. Ooh, yeah. But you didn't know she could sign language. You racist! <laughs>